You want me to put that on my todger? Harry's wife. It's your personality that stinks. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. There is invariably a stink around the narcissist. This is because there will always be someone somewhere who has suffered because of the narcissist. Even your most charismatic, magnetic, entertaining, likeable, amusing, deliciously inviting narcissists, such as your glorious narrator, will have a trail of individuals who have found themselves on the receiving end of the dark manipulations. Invariably, those individuals are former intimate partner primary sources. But as amongst those that have found themselves on the narcissist scrap heap, there will be former friends, there will be family members who have perhaps been scapegoated, business associates, neighbours, people that were socialising with the narcissist. Dependent upon the scope of the narcissist fuel matrix, there will be these skeletons. Often those individuals are discredited to the extent that other people in the fuel matrix just put down their grumblings about the narcissist as sour grapes and hard cheese. But wherever you look, you will find a narcissist who has caused problems for other people. Your most charismatic narcissists that are well known on a global scale often are able to do this without any damage to the public image that they present. Increasingly, though, in the age of hashtag MeToo and wall-to-wall -wall news coverage, there are others where they are not capable of keeping the lid upon these disclosures, and eventually they find themselves suffering as a consequence of people coming out of the woodwork and being believed, speaking about the behaviours that they experienced. You can no doubt think of many instances of hitherto famous individuals who suddenly have been found to have a litany of misbehaviours, affairs, etc. crawling out of the woodwork. With Harry's wife, we have long known that her problem is the way that she behaves and is, in essence, her personality. Her personality is disordered because she is a narcissist. She can't see this. She's blinded to it. And therefore, when people react unfavorably to the way that she behaves, thus creating a threat to her sense of control, her narcissism doesn't go, <clears throat> listen in, Harry's wife. The reason these people are saying no to you is because of the way you're behaving. Dial it down, hmm? Or the reason these people won't do what you want, Harry's wife, is because of the way that you're treating them. Perhaps if you treated them a bit better, they might be a little more amenable to what you require. But that isn't the role of the narcissism, because that would suggest that the narcissist is at fault. And by suggesting that the narcissist is at fault, that would undermine the need for control. Accordingly, it is that pillar of the narcissistic existence which says, it's not your fault, Harry's wife, it's everybody else. And the reason why they're awful to you is because they're racists. Hitherto, Harry's wife never really played the race card. Of course, we didn't know about her because she didn't come across our radars back then. But once she gained a degree of prominence and she started to flex more often, thus running into problems as people turned around to her and said, we don't do it that way here. No, that's not appropriate. That doesn't fit with conventional protocol. Her narcissism went, well, that really sucks. Hmm. We'll have to cause her to believe something so that she's able to nullify these threats to control. I know. Let's up the bronzer and claim that people are being prejudiced against our narcissist, Harry's wife, as a consequence of her skin colour. And thus began the slew of allegations, revisions of history, downright lies about her being badly treated because of racism. Now, that isn't to do away with certain limited instances where there were some knuckle-draggers that crawled out of the woodwork and 
use racist terms towards her. There's invariably a handful, but it isn't on the scale that she claimed. For instance, suggesting that the British media had used the N-word about her children. It simply did not happen. The allegations about members of the royal family being racist only to suggest, oh, we didn't say they were racist, when it appeared that that line of attack was no longer working. But time and time again, Harry's wife has played the race card. The vast majority of reasonably minded individuals recognise it's nothing to do with that. They don't like her because of the way that she behaves, the lies that she does, the rampant opportunism that she engages in, her failure to deliver on so many things, her nastiness towards other people. Well, although many of you think that it wouldn't necessarily be required, according to the upperlip.co.uk, an article by Harry Lerman tells us investigation finds that discrimination experienced by Harry's wife is entirely due to her personality, not her skin colour. Yes, an investigation reveals that it's her personality that stinks. A comprehensive investigation has unearthed a groundbreaking revelation regarding the discrimination experienced by Harry's wife, the Duchess of Sussex, Contrary to popular belief, the findings conclusively suggest that any mistreatment directed at Harry's wife was entirely rooted in her personality, rather than her skin colour. The exhaustive inquiry carried out by a team of diligent researchers meticulously analysed countless interactions, statements and media portrayals surrounding Harry's wife. Their objective approach sought to identify the true factors underlying the challenges she faced as a prominent public figure. Surprisingly, the investigation yielded astonishing results that challenged prevailing narratives. Well, I don't think any of us here would be surprised by the outcome. It revealed that Harry's wife's personality traits, choices and behaviours were the primary driving forces behind any negative treatment she encountered. Skin colour, traditionally considered a pivotal factor in cases of discrimination, was deemed inconsequential in this specific instance. While the report acknowledges that some individuals made derogatory remarks targeting Harry's wife's ethnicity, the weight of evidence overwhelmingly pointed towards her personality as the primary catalyst for the negative perception surrounding her. The investigation found that her approach to public life, relationships with the royal family and interactions with the media had a significant impact on public opinion. Experts involved in the investigation emphasise the importance of evaluating each situation on a case-by-case basis and cautioned against generalisations. They highlighted that attributing all challenges faced by Harry's wife to racism oversimplifies a complex narrative and undermines the significance of personal agency and individual choices. Naturally, These findings have sparked contentious debates and raised eyebrows across the globe. Supporters of Harry's wife's character have long argued that she faced unwarranted attacks driven by deep-rooted prejudice, while sceptics maintained that her actions invited the criticism she received. As the investigation's results challenge prevailing narratives, both sides of the debate find themselves re-evaluating their positions. Supporters grapple with the notion that personality played a significant role, why critics scrutinise the potential impact of implicit biases and broader systemic issues. The report serves as a reminder of the multifaceted nature of discrimination and highlights the importance of comprehensive analysis when examining complex social dynamics. It underscores the need to move beyond simplistic explanations and engage in nuanced conversations that consider the interplay of various factors. While the investigation's conclusions are sure to ignite further discussions, they undoubtedly provide a fresh perspective on the discrimination faced by Harry's wife. Ultimately, it is imperative that society continues to strive for inclusivity, understanding and fair treatment, irrespective of personality, skin colour or any other distinguishing characteristic. Thus, the report, which oddly enough isn't named, states that it was the basis of her personality. This comes as no surprise to many of you listening, and of course, given the fact that she's a narcissist, and her behaviour has been writ large as a consequence of the publicity that she seeks, it is no surprise whatsoever 
that people have seen the very instances, various instances of her lies, revisions of history, mistreatment of other pe people, grasping opportunism, and general unpleasantness to confirm and conclude quite accurately that they don't like her because it's her personality that stinks. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.